Hello and welcome back to the South Dakota Dynasty. The Coyotes are on the road today for their first trip to the Blue Turf in Boise, Idaho. Last week we won in dramatic fashion 50-49 to against Air Force. We went for two and the win with 42 seconds left. We got it and picked up our second win on the season. We're now 2-2 two and two in conference play. We had nearly 600 yards of total offense. 381 yards for J.R. Miller and 218 on the ground. And we will start off with Devin West getting us underway, kicking it away. It's Evans on the return. He takes it from his own goal line. He's to the 25 and now to the 40. West misses and Evans is into the open field to the 20, to the 10 and touchdown. But it looks like this one may be coming back as it is clipping called on Boise State. A very exciting start to the game is wiped out though. Hank Bachmeyer now in his third year with Boise State is the starting quarterback. Trevon Simmons has made a big impact since his return from injury. And then we need Xavier Warner, our number one corner, to play well today. Tom Kaufman is the new head coach for Boise State. He replaces Brian Harson. He's one in five in his first season as Boise State's head coach. And they won their first game in week one against BYU, but have lost their last five. However, four of those were by one score. Another flag cancels out a BYU run. And now it's Halani on the ground one more time, this time for 13 yards and a first. Shotgun four wide, Bachmeyer will keep it on the read option. He cuts to his left, now back to the middle field. He's into the open field inside of Coyote territory. Robinson and Warner in pursuit and bring him down after a 35-yard run. I wouldn't say Bachmeyer is a great athlete, but he shows off some sneaky athleticism there. And there's a loss of one. Nice play by Tevin Robinson. Three down linemen as they'll go four wide. Bachmeyer throws into the flat as he gets hit. He's got Cobbs, and he's down to the 20-yard line, brought down by Bukowski and Warren. First down and 10, three down lineman once more, and there's a nice play. It's Sylvia making a play in the backfield. It's a loss of two, his first tackle. A condensed set on third down and seven as Bachmeyer will go to the air. He's got all day. He fires outside and is not able to find his receiver inbounds. So Boise State will kick the field goal. Jer Miller was great last week, and so was Pierce Libby. Dimitri Washington and Ezekiel Noah both add a nice run-stopping presence and pass-rushing presence to this Boise State team. It's now third down and seven. We'll go empty as Miller throws. He's got Cordell Hicks. Like I said to open, Jer Miller had the best game of his career, 381 and five touchdowns. Now it's Pierce Libby on the carry. He just sort of powers his way forward, not going down. He's able to pick up four yards. Third down and three. Wagner is the tight end. We'll roll Miller out to his left, and he can't get it away, rolling out across his body, and will be forced to punt the ball. It's first down and 10. Bachmeyer will keep it once again on the read option, and Warner brings him down, but it is a first down run once more for the junior quarterback. Cobbs is slot right as they go three wide, fake the screen, they throw downfield, and a perfect throw by Bachmeyer as he was getting crushed. It's a 53-yard touchdown for Boise State. Our offense back on the field, still looking for their first points. We'll start on the ground for seven yards, it's Jalen Page. Three wide went in the slot, and they'll give it to Libby. He just barely picks up the first down, but that will move the chains nonetheless. Cooper Price in motion, they'll give to Libby once again, and it's an eight yard gain. It'll be second down and two. Dontavious Knight checks in the backfield along with Jalen Page. They'll look to Page and he's got the first. It's a four yard reception off the play action. First down and 10, three wide. It's Price split out far left and they'll give it to Jalen Page. He picks up eight yards on the ground and now it'll be second down and short split backfield once again as Miller finds a hole and he slides down. We don't really see him slide very much, but does a good job protecting himself and the ball there. Now to be triple option once more, Miller pitches it to Jalen Page. He's hit down hard, not quite enough for the first down. Second down and one, they'll give it to Libby. He finds a hole up the middle. It's another first down run for the senior running back 
as he nears the end of his coyote career. Libby once more straight up the middle. Man in motion creates a little disruption in the defense. And now second down and one. Fake it to Page in no time to throw. Miller is sacked. He loses five yards. It's third down and six. Three wide set. Miller with time. He throws. And it's knocked down. Deontay Knox coming off his best game of the season. 93 yards, five catches, and a touchdown. But it'll be Devin West on for the field goal attempt. It is good. And the Coyotes get on the board for the first time today. Bachmeyer will throw the screen. He's got Halani. He gets a block on Zakowski into the open field, down to the 49-yard line, pushed out by Ross Bukowski. Our defense didn't really play well last week. They gave up 316 yards on the ground and six rushing touchdowns. On third down, it's Hopper with the big reception as that keeps the drive alive. Three wide set for Bachmeyer. He's got all day once again. He fires it outside. Great throw across the field to Octavius Evans. Now Boise State will go with the split backfield. It's triple option as Bachmeyer will keep it. Ladorian McCray brings him down. It's an eight yard run. Ball at the eight yard line. It is first down and goal throw outside. Kendrick in coverage. Actually make that Xavier Warner. But Khalil Shakar, he has it and it's a tight window there. But Bachmeyer was able to fit it in. Here's Jalen Page running to the outside. He is absolutely leveled, but does pick up eight yards. Dontavious Knight in the game. They'll give it to him on the counter play. It's a first down run of six yards. His first carry of the day. It'll be Pierce Libby in the backfield now as Miller will throw. He throws outside. It's intercepted. Looked like he might have had a chance for Deontay Knox, but doesn't have the arm strength to make that throw. Trips to the right drop play though for Halani. He's into the open field. Great block by Cobbs downfield. It's a big chunk gain. First down and 10. The Coyotes will bring the blitz. Great job by Halani picking up the blitz. And now it's Walid on the catch. He picks up 15. Trips to the right on first down. They'll give it to Halani. He stiff arms the defender. And it's Tevin Robinson on the tackle. It's a loss of one. Second down and 11. It'll be Bachmeyer keeping it once again. Bukowski in pursuit. Can't stop him before he gets the first. And it is another nice run by Bachmeyer. Now Halani, he's brought down inside of the 10-yard line, just shy of the first down, though. It was Jackson Harvey in run defense. A speed option. Pitch goes to Halani. He's brought down by, I believe that was Xavier Warner. And that will move the chains. Bringing the blitz off the edge. And Trevon Simmons gets home. He gets the tackle in the backfield. Third down and goal. Big chance for our defense. Bachmeyer fires outside. Waleed catches it, but he's out of bounds. And it'll be fourth down and goal. And Boise State's offense will stay on the field. They give it to Van Buren. And he can't get in. It's Zacharias to DC who makes the play and forces the goal line stand. Now we'll have to go about 96 yards if we want to get into the end zone, but there's a great start to the drive. Jalen Page breaking a tackle. He picks up 11. Third down and seven. Miller throws. It's nearly intercepted. A two for seven start for J.R. Miller. And Boise State with great field position on third down and one. Bachmeyer keeps it again. And he's got room to run. He's past the 30, brought down by Xavier Warner. We may need to start just focusing on him. As now it's Bachmeyer throwing the screen pass. He's got Halani. As Sean Saldana can't bring him down. It's a nine-yard gain. It'll be third down and inches. A big chance for our defense. Bachmeyer on the speed option. He's going to keep it all the way inside of the 10-yard line. As Boise State uses their first timeout. First down and goal. Bachmeyer moves to his right. He's just moving to the pocket trying to find someone. Eventually he does. It's Khalil Shakir. It's an 8-yard touchdown. A 15 for 17 and 3 touchdowns first half for Hank Bachmeyer. He has been absolutely outstanding. Quick halftime as our offense takes the field. It's second down and 6. We need something to work quickly as we still have not scored a touchdown so far. 
and we need our offense to start generating some big plays and Jaron Miller to get better and have receivers create some separation. There's a nice play. 12 yards for Deontay Knox. An empty set on first down and 10. Throw outside for Nate Went. He cuts up field and is just shy of the yellow line. He picks up 10. Jalen Page in the backfield. It's bunched to the right. Miller's going to keep it. He's inside of Boise State territory past the 30 and a 17-yard run. We haven't seen him run nearly as much this year, but when he does, he's still pretty effective. Now taking a shot. He was hit as he throws, looking for Cooper Price. Probably a bad decision either way. And it's taken away. Boise State with another takeaway. And now it's Halani into the open field. He's inside of Coyote territory, past the 40, past the 35, and out of bounds after a gain of 50 yards. Bunch to the right, Bachmeyer will throw that way. He's got Hopper, who's brought down by Warner around the 16 or 17 yard line. Now Cobbs is motion in the backfield. They'll give it to him. He's inside of the 10, brought down by Bukowski at around the six or seven yard line. Second down and goal as Boise State has it around the one and Bachmeyer will keep it. He'll keep it himself all the way for the two yard touchdown. It's now 31-2-3. I was not expecting such a blowout today. Here Slibby gets the handoff. He goes to his left and picks up seven yards. Dontavious Knight in the backfield as J.R. Miller throws. It is Cordell Hicks lit up, but he hangs on and picks up 11. First down and 10, Miller throws. He's got Deion Gilbert. It's a first down reception of 13 yards. Now we'll go empty with Knight slot left. They'll look his way. Great throw in catch by Dontavious Knight. He ran a really good route there. First down and 10. Play action fake to Jalen Page. They throw to Knight once more. He's making some downfield plays in the passing game now. He hasn't done a whole lot of that so far this year. Now we'll go back to the ground game. It's Jalen Page picking up six yards. It'll be third down and medium. Third down and four. Miller's going to throw. He dumps it down. He's got Hicks who cuts up field immediately. He's inside of the five-yard line. Looking for our first touchdown. They'll fake it to Page. Miller's going to keep it and he's down to the one yard line it'll be second down and goal trips to the right as we spread the field with four wide and Pierce Libby is into the end zone for the touchdown as we have our first score on the day as that was Libby's third touchdown throw into the flats for Cobbs as we near the end of the third quarter third down and ten still looking for our first stop Bachmeyer will throw outside and overthrows his receiver. Our defense gets their first stop and the first forced punt so far today. We'll start on the ground game as Libby cuts to the left and then up the middle of the field. He's got eight yards. He's been very effective. Ten carries for 55 yards. Deion Gilbert comes in motion, but Miller will keep it. He gets ten yards and a first. So now Dontavious Knight is the motion man. They'll fake it to Jalen Page. Fire it outside. They got Ladorian Bolden, the fullback, leaking out on the wheel route. First down and 10, another play action play. Taking a shot downfield. It's Cordell Hicks. He's inside of the 10 yard line. A perfect back shoulder throw by J.R. Miller as it's a new series high for Cordell Hicks. He has nearly 600 yards receiving. Jalen Page cuts back up the middle of the field. He's got five yards, and we will head into the fourth quarter down by three scores with a chance to cut it to two. Pistol set to tight end. They'll give it to Libby. He's in for the touchdown, a five-yard score, and it's now a 14-point ball game with under eight minutes left. Still a full quarter to go. Let's see what our defense is able to do. Throw outside, they dump it down to Evans, and it's another first down as they're over 200 yards passing. Four wide, Bachmeyer's gonna throw it. He goes into the flats for Walid. Sylvia can't bring him down, but Deion Kendrick comes flying in and pushes him out. It's an 11 yard gain. Screen outside for Shakir, and Tevin Robinson, great job getting out there by the defensive end and making a play. 
Third down and six, Bachmeyer throws outside. He's got Cobbs. He can't get a foot in bounds. So there is a stop forced. Now let's see if our offense can get a touchdown here and cut it to a one score game. Page stretches it outside. Doesn't quite have the speed to get to the edge, but does pick up five yards. Now we'll go to Jalen Page once again. He breaks the first tackle, but the second defender gets there quickly. It's a loss of three. Went is in the slot on third down and eight. Miller throws outside. It's nearly intercepted by Chris Mitchell. Luckily it wasn't as that probably would have been a pick six. Third down and six for Boise State as they take over. Here's Cobbs and he's inside of the 30 yard line. Brought down but it's another flag and it is clipping once again. So it's the third big play by Boise State that's been called back by a penalty. Third down and 20, they'll have to take a shot downfield if they want to get this first down. Bachmeyer's going to do just that. It's intercepted by Dion Kendrick, who cuts up fieldies to the 25 and now to the 40. And he's still going. He's inside of Boise State territory down the sideline. And he's going to take it all the way. Somehow no one caught him. And he was able to take it for a long pick six. 87 yards showing great run after the catch ability. We may just see him at a little receiver at some point with a great play like that. It's now a seven point ball game all of a sudden and we still have four and a half minutes left. Boise State driving down the field though. There's a 13 yard reception. DeMarco Anderson will come on the blitz but it'd be Bachmeyer keeping it on the read option. He's to the 30 powers his way forward as Kelly Sprinkle couldn't bring him down. Third down and three, a big chance for our defense and Halani on the carry to the 10 yard line. That'll keep the drive alive and Boise State's chance to extend it with a touchdown. Any points though, we'll make it a two score ball game, but there somehow Bachmeyer decided to hurdle and the ball comes out a poor decision as he just got lifted up like Simba and then the ball came out and we have it back with a chance to tie this ball game up. Here is Pierce Libby trying to stretch it outside. He picks up three yards. It'll be third down and long. Trips to the right. Miller's going to throw it. He's got time. Fires. And Tate Wagner drops it. It was a chance for a huge passing play. Instead, the senior tight end has another drop this year. Trey Tucker on. He'll punt it away. And this is going to give Boise State's offense great field position. Evans cuts it outside. He's inside the 25, an even better field position than I could have imagined. Our defense forced their first fumble recovery of the season. Let's see what they're able to do on this drive. It's Cobbs on the reception for nine yards. Ball at the 12. First down and 10, faking the draw. Bachmeyer fires it outside. It's intercepted by Warner. He's down to the one yard line. That's three forced turnovers in this second half. And Warner makes a big one there. But we're going to have to go 98 yards if we want to tie this game up. And it looks like we won't be able to do that. It's an interception. Mitchell dropped two and finally has one there. Great field position is where exactly where we left off. Halani, he's into the end zone for the 12-yard run. And now first down and 10, under two minutes left. It's a two-score ball game. Throwing outside, Deontay Knox has it. He fumbles it, and Jalen Page comes out of nowhere to recover it. So it goes down as a 24-yard reception and a fumble recovered by Jalen Page. Now Miller throws. He's got Knox inside of Boise State territory, but there is a flag down as it is offsides on Boise State, so it doesn't matter. The play will stand. Hicks in the slot as they go trips to the right, and Miller was gearing up to throw it downfield, but he's sacked and loses six. Under a minute left, third down and 16. Miller drops back, throws outside, and it's intercepted once again by Boise State, the fourth pick thrown by J.R. Miller. And Boise State gets their second win on the season, and we suffer another defeat. Hank Bachmeyer was great. He ran the ball much better than I could have expected and had four touchdowns total. 
J.R. Miller did not do a good job of taking care of the football this week like he did in the previous two games. Three tackles for loss for Tevin Robinson, probably his biggest game, and then Deion Kendrick with maybe the best play we've seen in this series so far. We'll be on the road once again as we'll be taking on Wyoming and their vaunted rushing attack. They have a very good defense as well. Antonio Andrews will not play, but Sean Chambers is still there, and he has led them to a six-game winning streak after losing in week one to Northern Illinois. They have a number of very talented offensive linemen, including an All-American at center, Sean Chambers now in his third year as a starter. He is a true dual threat quarterback, but probably a better runner than passer at this point in his career. Deron Covington and Christian Jackson, it's a tight battle with Virginia Tech and Iowa State. David Broadwell is a new target. He's not a super athlete and it's just a developmental guy, defensive tackle. Then Rayshon Brailsford, I see him as a run stopping player who can develop with some knife athleticism. And then Brandon Harrison, sort of similar to Rayshon Brad Brailsford in a very different way. He just has speed of the wide receiver position. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please leave a like down below. It was a tough loss. We nearly made the miraculous comeback, but in the end, it was not enough. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on the new recruits that we have on the board. There are three of them. Which of them do you think do you like the best? I will see you next time as we head to Laramie. Have a great rest of your day.